me Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store called Low Poly FPS Pack. Now this is a sample, a demo version of a full paid version, but I think this serves its purpose quite well. So let's take a look. So we can see first and foremost that we are in one of the demo scenes and it does look pretty decent. It's a really good demo scene that you can test what you need from this item. So quality wise, it is low poly, it does say it's low poly. I like low poly, I'm not going to lie, I think it's really good. It's a stylization which can be manipulated in so many different ways. So like I say, quality wise, it's quite nice. Uh, we get a couple of different weapons here. Um, if we go through the folders, which are kind of neat, uh, it could be a little bit um, messy here and there. I mean, trying to get to certain sections, it's a bit messy like you think here. It's demo scenes, but it's not. You have to go elsewhere. You have to go to demo scenes. Uh, but overall, yeah, there's two demo scenes because two weapons. There's the assault rifle and there is the pistol. Um, so quality of everything, really, really nice. Quantity is massive. For a free version of a paid pack, I'd say the quantity here is massive. Uh, I'm not sure what to really count as extras, but I'm at least going to count all the scripting that's extras. Um, simply because when you get an FPS pack, you'd expect to get the weapons, you'd expect to get the sound effects and the standard effects. You'd expect that anyway from a pack. But like I say, this has the script so we can test things out. For example, we can actually press play, move around and... Oh, that's loud. Cool. So yeah, quantity wise, there is a massive amount here. So I'm going to count loads of this as extras. Uh, at this point, it's probably worth me saying, I think you should at least test this out. Even if you're not looking to make a low poly game, you should probably look at this asset. Now, I think the paid version is a lot. I think it's about $140, I think, something like that. You know, if you want to shell out 140 bucks on this, then you can, but obviously you will get a lot more with the full pack. But like I say, we're just reviewing the free asset pack for now. Quantity, massive. Quality, awesome. Extras loads. How versatile is it? It's incredibly versatile. You can customize this as much as you need to. Even if you just want to customize this demo scene here, you can find what you need in certain folders, whether it is with the materials, whether it's the textures and sprites, you can play around with them and change it. You know, you could also add some post-processing if you want to, just to have a real sense of how all of this looks. So how useful is all of this going to be? Well, a lot of the time you'll find a lot of hyper casual games are in this low poly style. So if you're making some kind of uh, shooting game uh, as a hyper casual game, and I know there's loads out there already. I think there was one called Shootout a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, this overall would fit in quite well with that style. And it all comes back to just how big this asset pack actually is. It's only 25 megabytes. We get a lot of stuff here for just 25 meg. And yes, I know I say that you should always keep file sizes down if you're aiming for mobile devices, but you don't necessarily have to use everything in this pack. You could just take a couple of things, a couple of scripts and whatever else. Uh, but the original creator of this has done an, um, uh, just an amazing job. There are no words for it. It's fantastic. This simple asset pack will give beginners a lot to go with, to run with, to develop for, and just really get to grips with Unity itself. It's an incredibly useful asset package, and so much of it can be used in so many different games. I mean, if you're creating a realistic first-person shooter, you'll probably still probably find something in here that is going to be useful one way or another. And I just, I really can't fault all of this. And all of this is free. This is a trial of the full version. You get all of this all of the scripts, all of the textures, it's just everything. So it definitely is worth checking out. My only um, criticism of it, like I said, is the folders themselves. It's a little bit messy how it's laid out, but I think once you get used to how the folders are, you'd easily be able to sort yourself out. And if I go back into the assault rifle uh, scene, again, I think it's pretty much the same scene. It's just got one weapon the other. So you could always build a script to switch around your weapon. Wow, that's loud. So, as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. 
and I'm sure you probably guessed it, of course I'd recommend this asset. Even if you only just get the trial version, it's, it's fantastic. You need to really check this out to, to really understand what it's about. I've been using it now for a good couple of days. Uh, I've put it into a few different projects to see how it works and how it reacts. A few scripts here and there, modified, changed, and it's so versatile and so easy to use. Um, if you can, if you ever get the chance, you should say thank you to the creator. I mean, I, I, I just, it's fantastic. It's a brilliant asset. And as a sample, you can't get any better than a sample of the full product. Uh, if we scroll down, I'm thinking we might see the full version. Yeah. Okay. So the full version is 134 euros, which is about 140 US dollars. But either way, um, if this is what comes with the free version, Imagine what comes with the paid version. There's going to be a lot there. So yes, I would recommend this to pretty much everybody to have a go of this, whether you're a beginner, whether you're an intermediate level, whether you're advanced and just want to see how some things are done differently. Check this asset out. It's going to really be worth your time. So guys, have you used this asset yourself? If you have, let me know what you think. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the asset, give it a thumbs down, but tell me why in the comments below you don't like the asset. I'm always curious to know. Um, so yeah, hopefully if you guys have clicked that subscribe button and you've clicked on the bell icon, you'll be notified next time I upload a really cool video on game development. Until next time, thanks very much for watching guys.